Hi, I'm Rebecca Fougere with Konica Minolta Canada. Today, I'm meeting with Professor Frank Romano, a leading expert in the printing and publishing industry. Frank, it's so great to see you. Thanks so much for meeting with me today. It's great to see you, Rebecca. Let's talk about MGI. You're familiar with MGI. Yes, I go back to when they first started and uh, when they were doing photo books, which photo books were a big market at one point in time, right. and they did a fantastic job. And now they've grown into other on-demand products, um, and, and, and especially now in new kinds of decoration and embellishment. So what do you think is the market potential for digital decorative printing? By the way, that's a wonderful term, digital decoration, because that's what it's coming down to right now. Um, this is a, a Konica Minolta, done on the MGI, of course, but it, it's, it's, it's just a mundane little notebook. But the important thing is that it has this wonderful embellishment on it, mm -hmm. and it's, you feel the texture of it. And this was done on the MGI. And this, to me, is fantastic to see this kind of stuff. It adds value. Um, here's a package that, that they were doing, and, and it makes this package so valuable. Um, and so MGI has now moved into this embellishment market where they can do foil, uh, they can do uh, texture. Um, I'm so impressed with what they're doing. And the machines are priced very well for uh, the commercial market at a level that allows almost every printer to get into the technology. Right. So in the old days, we used to have all this special finishing equipment to do die cutting and embossing and all that. But now we can do a lot of the embossing kind of look mm -hmm. um, and the foil stamping without any of the special equipment. It's all now digital, which gives you phenomenal advantages. So I'm very impressed with what MGI has done. What do you think is the future of packaging? Oh, we definitely have a future for packaging uh, because there's no other way to deliver a product. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was a kid, you went to a store and if you wanted flour, you scooped it and put it into a bag. Well, now it comes in a package. Um, and of course, half of everything we buy at the supermarket is on flexible film. So now we're moving in that direction. And if we're ever going to digitize all of that, that's going to be by inkjet. It's not going to be by offset or, or any kind of toner that I know of. Uh, so packaging is a main marketplace. It is most of what printers are going to print into the future. So we've been told that only 5% of the entire FOIA market is digital. Do you see that changing anytime soon? Oh, absolutely. By the way, it's only 5% right now because the methods for doing it were complicated. Mm -hmm. But now as we move into the future with new technologies being introduced like MGI, now we have the ability to do it in a much more efficient manner. And I think that opens up new markets. And whenever you open up a new market, whenever you add value to a printed piece, then the markets grow. Um, I probably judge more printing competitions than anyone I know. And everyone says, oh, how, if they're all high quality printers, how can you decide? Well, if you look at the winners, what you discover is they've all added some kind of embellishment to the piece. The customer wanted embellishment. And those are the ones that win. It has to do with the finishing, not so much as the printing. Well, thank you so much once again for meeting with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well, thank you. I love talking about technology. Thank you.